So the next step is to click launch now and with Cloudways, at least as I'm making this video and as has been the case for ever since I found out about it, uh, you get a trial period where you're not going to be charged anything. So I'm going to go ahead and click launch now. I'm going to click out of that. There's a video here on the main page that explains how to use the migrator. So if you need to migrate a site from one server to another, it's helpful to watch this video right here. You can see my server right here. It's actually still in the process of installing. It estimates that it'll take about seven minutes. And then up at the top, it says that my trial will expire in three days and zero hours. So they give you a three day trial. And whenever you're ready to pay, you just click up upgrade my account, which will take you to a page where you can enter your payment information and you'll be at a regular account, uh, no more trial. I usually wait until the trial's over with before I upgrade. So while the server is being added, I'm just gonna go through some of the uh, links. So your applications can be accessed through this applications link. Your servers can be accessed through this servers link and you can have multiple servers on one account. You don't have to create multiple accounts for multiple servers, although Additional servers will cost you additional money per month. Team, if you wanna add people to your account so they can log in and do different things, you can do that here under the team. They've got an affiliate program, so if you want to join the affiliate program, you can do that from here. And then right here is a more options icon, and you can access some other stuff the Cloudways bot, add-ons, and suggest a feature to Cloudways if you run into something you think would be good to have on their platform. Right here is a plus that a lot of people miss. If you click that, you can use that to add a server, add a new application, add a new team member, add a new project, uh, or add a new channel. Search feature right here that you can use. This shows you if you have any notifications from the Cloudways bot. So what the Cloudways bot is, is just the thing that sends notifications to you from Cloudways to things like when there might be server maintenance or something like that. And then this icon is for your account. So you click on that, you can click in here and see your account information or you can log out of Cloudways. And then there is another more, more options uh, menu right here. And that just has a what's new uh, page. And then you can also click on this icon right here to see new features on the platform. And to get back to the servers, I would click on servers. You can also click on the cloud icon to get back to servers. And there's also a toggle switch here where you can uh, toggle between applications and it'll list your applications in here if you have any. I don't currently have any because we just launched this or back to servers. So if you launch another server, you'll have to pick a plan. You know, you have to pick a provider and then pick a plan kind of like we did when we launched a second ago. You can also launch a server by clicking this green button right here. And you can have multiple applications on one server. With my projects, I never have more than one server. On my personal account, I have more than one server, but on my client accounts, my client projects, they only have one server and they might have two or three applications on the same server. So once the server is set up, you can see that the server has an IP. You can see the location of the server, which is New York, and you can see the date when it was created. Also, if I click on this right here, it takes me into the server's master credentials area and highlights some information that is uh, important. And here's your public IP for the server, your username and your password. Also, you can set up SSH public keys and launch the SSH terminal. So Cloudways actually has a terminal you can access the terminal on your server right from Cloudways if you want to do anything on the command line. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you probably really don't want to, you're probably not going to mess with any of it. 
Over here is a bunch of different links to other sections with configuration information and settings. You've got the monitoring page where you can monitor various uh, characteristics about your server. You can see the RAM usage, the CPU usage, disk usage. So right now I'm using seven gigabytes of disk space. Um, I don't have any bandwidth usage yet because I just set this up. You got some tabs where you can access additional information. New Relic is an app monitoring tool that I don't have installed, so there's nothing in here, but that's something that's available through Cloudways. Manage services. Get a bunch of services that are running on your server that you can manage from here. So if you want to uh, restart Apache, you can do that from here. You can see that Apache is running. Got a bunch of other stuff in here that you can uh, see is either stopped or running. So as I just mentioned, New Relic is not enabled, it's disabled. So if I wanna enable it, I'd have to click on this. Nginx, PHP, FPM, Varnish. Varnish is a caching tool. So if you highlight over these, or if you mouse over these eyes icon, these uh, will show up information about what this does if you don't know what it is. If you wanna disable this cache tool for some reason, say you've got it on your site, or it's messing up something on your site, you can disable it. Settings and packages. In here is some stuff that you may have to change depending on your project, like your file upload size, it defaults to 100 megabytes. Your memory limit for the server defaults to 256. And you've got a few other things in here, your time zone, you may wanna set that to whatever your local time zone is. And there are tabs in here also, and I'm not gonna get into the details of these tabs, but you can access different settings from inside of here. Uh, PHP settings in here, um, your MySQL time zones there. We've got some Nginx stuff down here. The varnish cache lifetime, if you wanna change that to something else, you can do that there. And then save your changes, just like any other uh, application, whenever you make a change, you wanna make sure you save those changes, otherwise they're not gonna stay. Packages, you can see what packages are installed in your server, so we're running PHP 7.4. Our MySQL database is MariaDB. Uh, during launch, I installed a, a WordPress application, I think, so that's where all this is coming from. Then we've got some other stuff down here that is either disabled or not installed. And you can install these by clicking these install buttons and it'll walk you through the process. Optimization tab. This is where you can do some server maintenance. And then you've got maintenance, which tells you when the scheduled server maintenance occurs. And you can change this time if you want it to happen at a different time. Uh, you've got other times you can choose from in here in other days. So if this time doesn't work for you, you can change to something else. Security. Some security information in here. You can whitelist IPs if you have some sort of a problem with IPs. Vertical scaling. This is important to remember. If you need to scale up the size of your server, so right now, since this is a site under construction, I just picked the 12 gigabyte, or actually I picked the one gigabyte, $12 a month plan. So when I wanna go live with this and make it public, I will upgrade to the four gigabyte plan. And all I have to do to upgrade is click right here and then click scale now, wait a few minutes and all the upgrade will happen um, automatically. Cloudways will handle all of it. Now obviously it's got a, and message down here that says four gig gigabytes or higher is recommended for a production site. Whenever I'm building something new, I usually start with one gigabyte just so I'm not paying 50 bucks a month right off the bat. Of course, I'm doing this, uh, I've got this trial that expires in three days, but you know, for this video, I just picked the one GB. In here, those where it's easy to upgrade and you can go all the way up to the 192 gigabyte plan with 32 core processor. I mean, it's pretty easy to scale. You got a block storage tab. 
You can attach block storage and you can select whatever you want and attach it. This is kind of, uh, this increases the size of your server storage space. So basically you add on a little bit of space. You got backups, which is another nice feature provided by Cloudways. You can schedule automatic backups. You can uh, specify the frequency. Uh, you can specify retention. And you can actually take a backup right now if you want to. Say you're doing something on the site and you want to make sure you have a, a fresh backup. You can just take one right now by clicking this button. Depending on the size of your backup, that might take a really long time to process through. And then over here, we've got SMTP. And this is where you can configure SMTP service for emails. I usually don't use emails with, uh, with this. I usually set up um, some sort of third-party mail provider for most of my clients, and I use a third-party mail provider myself. So I don't have a lot of experience with this, but you can send test emails from here. All right, so let's go back to the servers page. And then you access your applications in a couple of ways. You can click up here on applications, or you can click on this right here, and you can see the WordPress application that I installed. So to access the settings for that application, I click on the application name, and in this case, it's just your application because I didn't enter a, an application name before I hit that launch button earlier. And then I'll walk you through some, some slides here explaining what various sections of this page are. And just like the server uh, page, you've got links over here on the left to go to different configuration settings and tools that are available for your specific application. If you want to ac access your application uh, online, the front end of it, you can actually click this link right here and it will take you to the front end of your website. So there's my WordPress website that I installed with all the generic uh, default content. And then it tells me what my, where my admin panel is. So if I click that, it'll take me to the admin login screen for WordPress. And my username and password are right here. It's got my MySQL, my MariaDB access information down here at the bottom and my database name. And you can change this stuff. If you want to update something, you just click the pencil icons and change it to whatever you want. It's got some information here on how to connect via SSH or SFTP. You can create a staging site in here that's a duplicate of your live site. You got monitoring tools for your application. You got analytics and you've got logs, access log, error log, all the typical stuff. You got a bot protection section in here. You've got domain management. So if you want to add a domain for your domain or for your, for your website, um, you got to obviously register a domain at a domain uh, registrar like Namecheap, Name Silo, or GoDaddy or somewhere. And then you got to go in here and install it. So you'd add your domain name here. And if you hover over this, it gives you an explanation of how, of what is supposed to go there. And they also have information down here about how to point your domain to Cloudways. And it basically involves uh, pointing your domain name towards the uh, application IP that I showed you on the access details page. Crone management. So sometimes you might need to have a crone job running, something that happens uh, on a scheduled basis on the server to do something. Uh, you can set those up in here. SSL certificate. Once you get your domain name set up, you can come in here and activate the free Let's Encrypt uh, SSL, or you can uh, install your own SSL certificate from somewhere else. Backup and restore. This is for the application. You've got a backup and restore for the server, and then you've got a backup and restore for the application. So you can take a backup now for just the application. And if you have multiple applications on your server, it won't affect those. It will only take a backup of this application. And then once you have backups, you can restore them. 
since we don't have any, it doesn't let us, it's not giving us that option. Deployment via Git, this is a nice feature if you're doing uh, some sort of a project where there are collaborators, other coders, you can connect your Cloudways interface to Git, you know, GitHub or Bitbucket, and you can pull in changes from there to here. So I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Um, application settings. This is sort of like the server settings, but specific to the application. We got varnish in here again, where you can disable it. Um, SSH access, you can disable or enable. Got a bunch of different settings in here that you can uh, manipulate. PHP stuff. Memory limit, you may have to update. You may have to make some changes to some of this stuff. You can change them right in here and you can scroll down through. There's more than just what you see. You can actually drag this box and make it bigger. Just remember to save your changes when you're done and make sure you don't typo because that can create some problems. You got varnish settings here, which is that cache tool. Migration tool. This is right here. So if you want to mi migrate a WordPress site, uh, you can download this and install it on that site. And then you get instructions for how to connect to your server and it will move everything over here for you. And I've even done this with WooCommerce sites before and, and it worked very well. Cloudflare, if you want to set up Cloudflare, you can do that here. I've never done that, so I'm not going to get into that right now. And then back to the servers.